This playthrough is rated T for teen. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Vaughn and Rebecca with another episode of Odin Sphere, Lost Cross here. In the last episode, we found out that the king of Valentine, or the former king, the, you know, the undead guy with the crown, apparently. Oh, oh, I can't go this way yet. Looks like two places in this game I can't get to. Well, we'll go back. Anyway, King Valentine, apparently to activate the cauldron or something, wants to melt down all the coins of Valentine. Which the Puka need to get back to normal, so and obviously we want to be human too, so we can actually talk to Velvet again. So it looks like, oh, sorry, Chicken, uh, or sorry, Phoenix Rider. We've already talked to you before. Not really much of a threat. So how about you just set this one down? Oh yeah, can I stun you every time I hit you? I can. Ah man. No. Sometimes I can get that off really well, and other times I just can't. Man, too bad most of these. I'm wondering if I was playing this on hard mode, if, uh, ouch, if, uh, um, well, if they get stunned as easily, you know, like, oh, ah, 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 fire! My biscuits are burning! Fire the hatch! I think that was a Roger Rabbit in that one. Well, not Roger Rabbit himself, but, uh, he was in the sand. Actually, it's really worth mentioning if you don't even know what you know. Although I say like random stuff all the time. So, you know, I don't, I kind of usually expect people not to get my references. Not that they're obscure, it's just, well, you know, just some things people know more than others, or some things people find more important. But anyway, we beat the Phoenix Rider. Hooray! We did it. Oh, what's this? The blue flame. I think that's supposed to allow us to unlock the door. I wonder how we're supposed to get into those areas, though, to uh, get those chests. Well, I went back to the... I think there is something you're supposed to do specifically. I went back to try and get the... Uh, no, try and get through that sandstorm, but I couldn't get through that one either. I'm trying to... Re I thought there was something you're supposed to do in the level that... Um, that changes that, but I don't remember. Well, if I, if I find figure it out, I'll, I'll let you know. I don't think it's that important, though. Like, maybe a, a, like some accessory, but, I mean, I'm pretty good already. You know? Or maybe there's an ability I'm supposed to... Or, like, a, like how in the... Like, earlier in Cornelius' story, it says you have to use certain items to get through certain parts. Maybe I have to use a certain, like, a spell or, a, or something. Like I said, I don't remember everything about this game that I played like so many years ago. True, maybe it seems a bit unprofessional to not know what I'm doing. You know, but, uh, eh, I think it's more fun. That's why people like watching people who have no idea what they're doing. Anyway, we get a boson prison for our efforts. Let's see what it is this time. Boom shakalaka, boom shakalaka, boom shakalaka. We get the brave hurl. Brave hurl, huh? Like, like hurl? Or to chunk? Or pitch? Ah. Forward shockwave that grows bigger. A new spell. Nice. Let's go ahead and get that. Is that a level 5 one? No, oh, that's a level 3 one. That's... I'm kind of surprised those by the end of the game. Well, uh... Ah, you know what? Kind of, let's go ahead and max it out. I might not use it, but... Uh, well, I'll use it at least once just to show that I can do it. Actually, there's been some spells I should have been using, but I haven't been. Because out of... Out of habit, I don't use certain abilities. If I if I find the guaranteed method, then why would I keep using you know something that's not guaranteed? You know what I mean? Uh, what do they call it? Dominant strategy. Although dominant strategy means that it's it's always the guaranteed win. In my case, it's more laziness. I think. I mean, if it is the most effective method, then it is dominant strategy. But if it isn't, then I'm just doing it because it seems efficient. That might not be the case. Anyway, let's keep exploring. We want to finish this thing out before we fight the boss. Yeah, sorry goblins. You chose the wrong day to fight the Puka. You didn't realize one of them had a sword. I have a glowing sword. Actually, didn't Cornelius say that in one of the cutscenes? It's like, I have a, I have a sword. I'm fine. It's like, I, I don't think that's the question they asked you, but okay. Yeah, I stun you. Uh -huh. Oh, eggs. Let's make an offer. Ow, 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 fire, fire, bad. Let's do that. Oh, that's right, I have the new skill ability that allows me to, uh, 
gain pow when I kill people, so that's why I kept... I was like, man, why was I able to do that so many times? Like, what do we get this time? Alchemy or a recipe? We get steak tartare. Uh, lamb, ch lamb chop and eggs. I think I got plenty of those, so, but I'll do that off screen. Really, the only difference is certain foods over others, either for experience or for how much HP it gives you. So, so that's usually what I would do. Like when I played this game a long time ago, I would just, after you know, basically unlocking all the foods, I would just eat the foods that gave me the most HP, which is usually go into the Puka kitchen and buying the food. That's usually what'll get you the. Uh, um, see, I still need to drop because I missed that one room. So we went. Oh yeah, and I still need to use the. Um, I didn't even get that. I still need to use the blue flame to open up the boss door. Alright, what's in here? Fire! Fire! Round, 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 a burning real fire. A night for door to I don't know the whole song. Hey, man. Just because I like songs doesn't mean I, I like, remember the whole time. I remember all the words. I remember the beats. Does that work? I can sing uh, Bippity Boppity Boo, one of the most like silly songs ever because it's like it's not really that well written, but hey, people like it, right? Anyway, one more spot and we'll be good to go. I still don't remember how to get past that fire though. Maybe it has something to do with like, uh, um, uh, what's the word? Oh, does the oh does the onion fall with it? Oh. I guess where the onion was supposed to fall with you, like when you fell into the next area. Oh well. Okay. Other than that, I think we're good with this. So we just have to get ready to fight the boss. So. Does it automatically go to the boss now? Now yeah, let's use the blue flame on this. And open the door. Yeah, time for you, Cornelius, to fight. Uh, the King Valentine himself. Although you probably, for if you've already watched me, you probably have a good idea of who we're gonna fight, because you've already seen kind of a pattern when it comes to like, uh, why do I have two luck stones? I must have won it by. Uh, let me go back for the rest stop and quickly just drop off some stuff and then we'll go fight the boss. Um, should be good, but I, I do admit now that the bosses are, because Cornelius doesn't have obvious uh, protection against. Uh, um, Fire. I might. I'm, let me see. I have a cooler, so I can use that during the burn effect to help me with that. And I've already got the fireproof thing equipped. Um, so I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need to take. Should be fine. I've got. I've got a, a couple of healing things that'll. Well, one of them. One will heal up me up completely. One will just kind of give me a quick buzz. Um, as you know, I'll put the. The next step up. That should cover me for that. No, I don't know why I have a couple of jugglers on hand. Okay. Should be good to go, because the fireproof will at least try to help me not take so much. <coughs> Excuse me. But I should be okay against the boss, so. Alright. Let's actually. Yeah, and I can't really do anything with that, because there's. You know, I'll go double check that again just to make sure I didn't. Ah, oh god. Oh, well, that was my fault. Okay, at least. Eh, I'm fine with not being at full health. Alright, level 38, hardest difficulty. Let's see if we can uh, handle the boss. Let's do it. We all know who it is, but we don't want to say it. You again? You always interfere. Those stupid goblins were all talk. You are a king, are you not? Why would you choose to make your citizens suffer? Those coins are mine to spend as I please. Very well. Let me tell you a story. Long ago, there was once a benevolent king with extraordinary powers. In order to keep his people happy, he put his power into the money, so all shared it. But what happened to him? Instead of thriving, the country was destroyed by a traitor. And instead of being mourned, I was called a mad tyrant, 
who cursed my own country. Didn't you use the cauldron against your own land? It matters not now. Both the king's power and virtuous spirit have been infused into the coins. Once these coins were melted in the lava, my power would have returned to me. Those idiotic goblins! No, I shall let this go. I am a forgiving person. I still have hope. There is just one egg. Don't underestimate it. As the prophecies state, this is the egg of the dragon that dooms us all. In the Valentine prophecies, they call this snake, uh, Dragon, Leventhen. A dragon's egg? So Wagner was referring to you when he said that? My fury will burn the world! I will give you all my power! I entrust it all to your fiendish, brutal nature. Now hatch, Leventhen! Show us your strength! Once again, we come across Leventhin. Well, this is the first time Cornelius has gone against Leventhin, but this is the first time for Cornelius, but we've fought him before. He's got a little crown, so that's how he got that crown. That was King Valentine's crown, huh? Who knew? Oh, well, that didn't work. All right. Ah! Yeah, he's kind of a... The annoying thing about the Levantin thing is that I don't know if I'd say he's really hard. He's kind of annoying because, because of his size, really, if anything. That's... I mean, see? Exactly. Like, look at that! I, c I can't hit him with my spark shot. Because he's so small! He's so cute! Anyway, you should see his grown up form. I mean, he's not gonna grow up at all. Oh my god. He's already doing damage to me, but he's a. Aww, I feel bad for him. Yeah. Whoa! He did not like having his crown knocked off, that's for sure. Nope. Huh, that was a Alright, knock you down. Oh. Hello, that'll help us with this fight. Alright. So, let's use fire spirits. I know he's not really weak against fire spirits, but it uh it'll uh it'll be something to use. I do have a stronger one. Actually I could mix it really quick. I did this off screen just to uh it's kind of weird that games let me do this during the middle of a fight, but, uh, oh well. Alright. Anyway! <laughs> Alright. Yeah, so he, he doesn't get stunned as easily as, uh, uh, Mercedes does. Is that really your same name? Mercedes? I don't know why that shouldn't be... That shouldn't be your name because it's a vehicle, you know what I mean? But, uh... He still takes damage from Ashley. Probably what I should do is... Let's turn around here first. Okay. Let's do his tennis. That might help me with some extra. Or not. Great. Thanks. You ran away! You did it! You did it, son! You did it! Yeah, like I said, he's not that hard. Although, like, if I, well, if I was playing hard mode, I would, I would definitely have a... Um, ooh, that's a really good one to have. I'll take, I'll take Whirlwind. Like I said, it's probably one of the best potions in the game. At least I believe Ah, you... Dang it, Leventhin. Why are you so cute and, 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 and annoying at the same time? You may keep waste my... Uh, 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 am I on fire? It no, I'm not. Okay. I was, I was wondering if I was still on fire. Because I know I had the... Uh, sometimes... Yeah, he's not as susceptible to it. And really using his abilities is... Get back here, you! Did you try to headbutt me with your little crown? Yeah, this is probably one of the few fights Cornelius isn't super good at. 
Well, mainly because I can't really get a lot of good. Well, actually, any of the characters. Although I had a decent, decent, a decent time with uh, Gwendolyn, if I remember correctly. Uh -oh. I didn't mean to actually like. Yeah, we're almost done with this fight. But yeah, I think in the harder difficulties, if I remember correctly, their patterns become more aggressive, and they and they start doing more abilities sooner than later. Like, or if they're playing them on other pathways, like when you fight similar bosses. Too bad there's not enough unique bosses for a lot of characters. Like this game suffers from reusing reusing assets a lot, despite it having so many unique like animations and. Uh, and character designs, you know what I mean? It's kind of weird to say that, too. Uh, I don't know, I, I'm not, I'm not uh, dissing the game right now. But. Yeah, we got him, but still, yeah, it wasn't as efficient as I'd like to have been, but oh well. I was down there too long. The Netherworld's jewels, they suppressed my powers. I could feel them withering away while I was there. Who are you? I am Prince Cornelius of Titania. I see. Edmund's boy. I didn't understand why you carried the mystic sword of Titania. But now, I see why he gave you that patricidal blade. Patricide? I don't think he'd tell you. He killed his own father, King Gallen, and took the crown. My father couldn't do that! My grandfather was killed when the country was attacked by the demon beast. But my father was visibly frightened when he saw this sword in my hands. Huh? That voice that gave me the sword. It knew who I am. No, it can't be. That cannot be my grandfather. King Gallen must have wept in his cell. In addition to killing his own citizens, <laughs> he was slain by his own son. I had thought that after the attack, my father was the kingdom's savior and was given the crown. You say my grandfather was the demon beast? That's absurd. He transformed via a mystic power passed down through the Titanian royal family. In order to fight my own intimidating army, Gallen made a decision. Our military forces were crushed under his feet, and we were scattered. There was no time for anger. The beast continued to rampage through the kingdom for seven days. So my father destroyed the beast in order to save the country. Be grateful for Edmund. If he did not claim to know the mystic power himself, I would have invaded Titania. Your land would have been easy to conquer. So that's why he was stubborn. This rumble is an omen. This is not good. If Onyx, the Inferno King, were to greet us, it would not be a good thing. Wait, where are you going? Into the flames of purgatory. I bid thee farewell until the world dies. <sighs> It's all here. I see. I'm relieved. Cornelius, thank you for everything. I speak on everyone's behalf. I would have been worried if I lost the coins as well. You say you're from Titania? You shouldn't go home for a while. Uh, not with the way the town by the castle is. What? Haven't you heard? A dragon has appeared in the castle town. A dragon? A woman has been chosen to be sacrificed to it. 
The king of Titania is unable to do anything, and the country is in a panic. My father is ruthless. Alright, for defeating the newly bored Leventhin, we get a foes on Prism and the ending of Chapter 6. Well, we know that uh, if you've been playing the game, we know that Oswald eventually has to encounter Leventhin in his storyline, as well as Gwendolyn, so we know that Leventhin did not die there. And the fact that uh, uh, Cornelius, for some reason, lets him walk off with Leventhin. I guess, then again, Cornelius didn't, doesn't know the ramifications of that. Maybe he was just so surprised. But anyway, we get the Strike Ray ability. Uh, I think that's his... No, he gets one more big spell, it looks like, in the game. Uh, gather Cypher power into light and fire it in a straight line. Ooh, basically he's a fire in his laser. Huh. Can't believe I said that. Oh, I feel bad now. Oh, well. Is that a three level one? Yeah, let's go ahead and max it out. Why not? I'm actually maxing stuff out a lot more than I did with Gwendolyn, weirdly enough. I think it's because Cornelius... Because of the difficulty, the game gets higher and higher. You fight more and more fights, and you gather more and more Fozons. But anyway, eh, we'll do the rest afterwards, so... All right, looks like we're getting stronger and stronger, but unfortunately, it looks like our hometown of Titania has decided to sacrifice a woman to save the town from the dragon. I bet you probably all know who the sacrifice is, isn't? don't you? Well, if you don't know, you'll find out in the next episode of <laughs> Odin's Fear Lothros here, Chapter 7. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.